I'm going to be one of the guest speakers at the Medicare for All marches that are taking place across the country. And they are literally all over the place. We're adding more cities day, every single day. Um, Seattle, Portland, San Diego, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Asheville, North Carolina, New York City just signed on, Chicago, Minneapolis, Madison, Wisconsin. Um, I want to say Tampa, Florida is in, Washington, D.C., you know, is in. So there's a bunch of cities that are signed on right now. Incredible. And again, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jackson, and again, larging up yourself, man. But big up to you because a, so a lot of some of this energy and this fervor came from, from you. All came from you. Because look, there were 35 or 40 of us marching around saying, don't drop the ball, Medicare for all, uh -huh. walking around Constitution Avenue and Independence Avenue, munching on sourdough bread and trying to not get arrested. So now, <laughs> now <laughs> it's true, it's what it was. Y'all know it's what it was. But now, and, and what's crazy is of the 35 or 40 of us, half of us had YouTube channels. So it just goes to show how connected we actually already are. But yeah, I mean, this Medicare for All movement, it's a real thing. And and again, as I spoke on the video when I was standing right next to you, Colin, when John from Status Quo asked us, hey, do you have something to say about this? And I said, look, that healthcare is a human right. It's a human right based upon, art, based upon Article 25 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. There are basic social services that we as not only American citizens, but we as human beings that have breath in our lungs and blood in our veins and eyes that can see and mouths that can chew and speak with, we are supposed to have health care. We're supposed to have it. And it's not supposed to be a for-profit situation. We are supposed to have it as a result of us simply merely existing.